Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking Thursday Weekend League Rewards Team of the Season style. This week is the first week of Foot Champions Rewards that have Team of the Season so far cards included in the rewards. It's going to be very interesting later today on Thursday uh, or early morning when you're watching this. When rewards come out, what the market is going to do, and it's going to be an all-around just interesting day on fifa with probably most likely the guaranteed team of the season community sbc coming out as well marquee matchups so it's going to be a big day for team of the season cards possibly a loading screen for prem tots which should be tomorrow and then also just weekend league rewards and just a lot of stuff happening market wise today and i think there's going to be a lot of opportunities to buy and flip and also maybe make some more investments and in possibly buy some of these team of the season cards so i want to talk through that today i first want to talk about this Kieran trippier and what also happened today in foot uh we got this Kieran trippier sbc which requires an 85 and an 86 rate i believe with three informs now to me this card has interesting links he is this is a pretty end game right back he doesn't have a lot of flaws to be honest uh his strength and aggression is kind of the only problem this to me though if you're ro rocking, honestly, like my team, this would fit my team right now really, really well. And if we get upgrade packs in the next week, this might be a guy that I try to craft. I kind of wish that he had no expiration. Um, but obviously, EA is trying to, to reel us in right now with the English links. Of course, you got the Phillips. Uh, you had the center back, Ben White. You've had the Ollie Watkins. Like the, the English links are very, very strong right now. And this is what I said when I tweeted out today about this card. I said, there's going to be a better right back that is English literally tomorrow in foot. Trent Alexander-Arnold's going to have a team in the season card. Is it going to be 200K? No. Um, but if this is a, a card that you want for your squad, it's not a bad one. So I'll give that like maybe a 6.5 or 7 out of 10. Uh, I kind of been drawn to that as well because he's a former Spurs player and I'm a Spurs fan. So I might end up completing that. We'll see. Of course, you know, I've got Messi on the right side and I've got Sol Campbell. So right now... That card in my team would be perfect, but I don't think Sol Campbell is going to stay there forever. So that's why I don't think I'm really going to do that card and make it a priority. But that was our content today, along with some tradable pack supply, which lowered some fodder prices on the market. And I actually want to talk about this first because I think this is what a lot of you guys are really worried about. Some of the SBC fodder, especially the 89s, a lot of the 88s, 89s, the higher rated fodder has uh, dipped down in the past a uh, couple of hours due to the tradable supply today from the um, from the marquee matchup packs. Look at Kula Bali, man. 37k for this guy? Is that what I'm seeing? 37k for 89 rated Kula Bali. That is not bad at all. You know what? I'm going to snag one of these and throw it into my club. I'm going to do a little bit of a club stock on these high rated. I don't have literally anything in my club right now. Um, can I get that one as well? I will take a 36,000. Um, I don't have many high rates in my club at the moment and the 88s, the 89s, even some of the 87s are looking decently low. So we go to Footbin and check this out really quick. Um, these cards are probably going to go up a bit t today because I think the community team of the season SBC today is probably going to be 86 or 87 rated. If it's any more than that, that's kind of a problem to be honest, because it shouldn't be too much more than like 200 K because most of the cards, when you look at the tots community, we have a lot of cards in here that are at that 200k or below, but I think EA is going to try to push the envelope with how much they'll, you know, get people to pay, which if if it's a 250k SBC, tons of people are going to do it because you'll see I have the chance of getting Gomez or Zaha, you know, or or Simon, but if you look at how good value that would be as a 250k SBC, if that is what the price is tomorrow or today, uh, that would technically not be good value because more than half the team is probably less than 250 250,000 coins if you look around. So regardless though, I think that's going to push up fodder because this is the type of SBC that literally everybody does. Um, what would go up the most? Probably 85s, 86s would go up a decent amount. I'm going to try to club stock some of those. These guys were all 20k uh, two days ago and now they're back to 16, 17. So you could try to get some of those tonight during rewards. I don't think a lot of people are going to actually open their packs during rewards though. So that's why uh, I wouldn't say that you have to wait until rewards come to actually pick up some of these fodder cards if you'd want to, to club stock them and, and put a couple in your club. Like I'm going to do with some of these 86s. I know that uh, these aren't the prices that I like to get. I like to get 15k for these cards. 
Uh, but anything like 17k or under looks to be good right now with a lot of people on the game and doing SBC. So, but like I said, I think a lot of people are going to open their elite rewards that like the guaranteed tots packs that you get like your three player packs from elite three and the top 100 i think it they get 11 is that how many of those guys or 10 i forget how many of those guys get i guess it's in rewards right here but uh basically what were the elite team of the week packs i think people are going to be opening those today so they get uh one ultimate team of the week moments pack yeah so i think that has 11 players in it um for top 100 i think that's what you're going to see people opening today and i think they're going to save the rest of their packs for friday we'll talk a little bit more about that in tomorrow's video what to expect on friday but today what you can do is if those packs are opened right if those packs are open what's that going to do first of all it's going to supply a lot of these team of the season community cards onto the market tradable right because those packs that they get from elite rewards and from top 100 rewards are all tradable so it's going to be more tradable supply for the team of the season community cards which are already low in my opinion these guys these guys are so cheap uh, and this really drives what I'm saying and wanting, I want to invest in these guys. I want to buy some of these guys because I think they're going to rise out of packs as Premier League team of the season starts on Friday and everybody realizes in this game that, holy moly, these cards are not cheap like these, um, like these, uh, team of the season community cards actually are. I think the price difference is going to be massive in terms of like, I mean, right now we have one card over a million coins in uh, team of the season community and we're gonna have probably at least four or five maybe maybe even like seven or eight um at the end of of tots prem probably like nine or ten of them first day will be over a million coins for tots premier league uh so i think that there's just gonna be a lot of shock i guess or realization that a lot of people are gonna have that they can't afford team of the season cards like they could in this first set and that's gonna drive the market upwards on the team of the season community cards and on just out of pack special cards so that's the stuff i want you guys to focus on talking more about these cards though uh when is going to be like the best time if you want to buy one of these for your team if you want to invest in one of these cards when is going to be the best absolute uh time to buy team of the season communities in my opinion let's talk through it so this is what you have right early before 6 p.m uk so whenever week and league rewards come out you're going to have the tradable supply from the elite packs right that's going to push coins under the market it might push some of these cards up a little bit uh so maybe for a really higher tier item like a joe gomez um or maybe even felipe anderson if you see joe gomez drop like 100k during rewards or like if you see him around that mill mark 1 million coins flat on the playstation if you see them drop like uh, like seriously like 10 percent um a 10 percent drop maybe if you see him at like 900k flat on the xbox a 10% drop for me would be like, okay, this is a card that obviously nobody is going to pack from the uh, team of the season guaranteed SBC, or at least not a lot of people. That might be a buy point for me. But for most of the other cards, I think that I would wait because the guaranteed SBC is probably going to come out at 6 p.m. UK, along with more tradable pack supply with marquee matchups and whatever other packs they put out on Thursday as well as a possible loading screen that could create some panic, I guess, maybe, um, depending on what they put in the loading screen. So um, I would say the safest route for most of these cards is probably going to be wait until 6 p.m. UK or a little bit later just to see what happens with the panic sale of these cards, maybe as the guaranteed SBC comes out. And then, then you could look into possibly buying some of these cards with the panic selling and the combination of marquee matchups which everybody's doing marquee matchups right now by the way is everybody going to save their packs and try to open them during prem i don't know uh but marquee matchups is you know foot drafts um marquee matchups and league sbcs are what people are really grinding in this game right now because it's all about just getting packs in fifa right now like that's what everybody is doing they're just trying to get packs in this game so i would expect those cards to drop a bit today with rewards or whatever so looking through some of these guys that i really like the most i think this one is the biggest no-brainer out of all the cards that are in team of the season community i think fernandinho might be the biggest no-brainer just because he's gonna fit into a lot of people's premier league teams he's brazilian it's not a terrible card you know you throw a chem style on him you can easily get that pace to 80 he's got 80 acceleration anyway so it's it's not bad to begin with but this is a solid cdm in the prem a lot of very good links with a nationality as well. And this guy, like around 200,000 coins flat, I think would be a baller 
baller investment. Now, these guys do have a lot of supply, but they're also going to have tons and tons of demand because these, these are so cheap. And these are just cards that almost anybody can slot into their team. If you're a Bundesliga guy, this might be somebody you look to invest in. This Brandt card, I think, is re is pretty cheap. He's better than Footbert de Havertz, and Footbert de Havertz is still over 200,000 coins. I think, give this guy a week, he could be back to 200k pretty easily. That's a really, really good looking card. Of course, the 4-star, four 4-star, four star, and is really good in-game stats. Um, other cards that I really like from this set. I do like Thiago, especially with all the, the Bundesliga hype that we've had recently. Um... You know, we had the Alaba SBC, not Alaba. We had the Davies SBC a while back, which a lot of people did. We've had the Boateng SBC, which a lot of people have done. And now this week we had Goretzka, uh, which is just, there's a lot of hype right now around uh, around the Bundesliga and Bayern especially. So I like Thiago for that reason. He's also a usable version of Thiago. Um, some other cards that I like uh, as a rise, I kind of like Moses Simon, just because, yeah, I do think he's a bit overpriced. But he's got the hype. Uh, he's got the hype. He's 255. I think this card would take more of a hit with rewards and with panic selling because it's harder to link this guy. I think a lot of people are viewing Simon as more of a super sub. Uh, but maybe this guy drops like 30, 40K and he's, he's close to like 210, 215. That might be a shout if he gets that low. Um, but then some of the top tier guys too. Uh, some people say Philippe Anderson's really good. Some people don't like him. I would stick to more of the lower tier stuff though. This is one that I'm really interested in myself. Um, I cannot believe that this card is closing in on like 70k. This Musa Dembele card is literally, according to Footbin right now, 75,000 coins, which is just mad. It is literally just mad. And I'm going to search by basic chem style, see if I can find any quickly. Yeah, 74k for this guy, man. 74k for a French striker in Ligue 1. And one thing that I've noticed about a lot of these cards is if I take the chem style filter off, if I go back here and look through a lot of these team of the season, Musa Dembele's, and even some of these future stars, there's a lot of them that people position change, which I've seen, to center mid. Because, you know, French links are not always easy to come by, especially with like Bakayoko. You saw a CDM future stars there. Um, so there's a lot of people that I've seen that, that position change these cards to like a CM or a CDM. Um, and then put them up on the market, which is really interesting. So this card right here is just really great for links. Uh, and I think he's going to be, it's very possible this guy could be a hundred thousand coins in a week or two. So, um, I'm probably going to pick up some of that dude. Muki Yele, I'm a huge fan of. He's really end game center back. To be honest, Casemiro and PK, I, I like those as well. And then we talked about Busquets this week as a decent investment too, just because he's super duper cheap. But I think most of these guys will rise. Of course, you want, you want to pick up and look at the guys from the, the most popular leagues, and uh, you know that, that fit a niche that may not have that many special cards there pk is interesting to me because he's got hype this year uh because of his scream card that came out earlier in the year this guy is 200k that's the other great thing about these cards if you were to invest in them they're just so cheap that right a pk right let's say you can get pk just under 200k tomorrow let's say you can snag him at like 190 to 195 all you need is for him to go to like 205 210k which is an easy, you know, 5% upwards in price to cover your tax. And then everything after that is just, uh, it's just money, right? The tax is so low in these cards. That's what, for me, makes it so interesting. It's just that, you know, I can sit there and I can buy uh, 10 Musa Dembele's and I put seven 700,000 coins into a card and, you know, 70K card, if I sell them for 100,000 coins, I've got 5K of tax. Like, that's it. So this is like a pure coin investment if you're if you're looking to invest in those if you don't want to mess with the cards that are in packs which i totally understand that i have a lot of out of packs cards as well and if you guys are looking for out of packs investments you can make tonight um i would say focus on the prem and focus on stuff that is down in price as you look at a lot of graphs right uh look through look through a lot of these graphs this is a card i want to look at especially mason greenwood five star weak foot manchester united English, right? This is a very hyped up card. The dude was almost 800k before team of the season started. He went down to 600k flat, and then this whole week he's been dropping. Man, he was 610k last weekend. Now he's 550. Right? This is the lowest he's been all week. I doubt there's going to be another prem striker from team of the season. It's going to be this cheap unless Danny Ings gets in. Uh, and with the five star weak foot, if a Bruno Fernandez would get in or a Rashford would get in, 
Um, I still think this is the type of card that's going to rise. Since if you, if you think about it this way too, a lot of people that are getting those elite packs uh, from weekend league rewards are going to be guys that probably can afford more of the higher tier cards on the market. Um, so yeah, just look through a lot of these team of the weeks. If you want to buy some stuff out of packs, look at informs, uh, look at um, old promo teams. There's plenty of stuff out there right now that is low, that is a good buy because I do think we're going to see the market continue to slide up this weekend. You know, even like this Ramos, man, 147K, that's not bad for him. He's pretty low. This Merton's at 139. This is a very meta card. What did he do last week? Merton's last week uh, went from 170. It looks like he went up maybe like 10K-ish. Now he's down to 147. Right now he's 139. So just look for undercuts on stuff like this. Uh, and I think a lot of people have been just like waiting for this weekend to sell stuff. Do I think the market really goes up today on Thursday? That's another question. I've had a lot of people ask me, does the market go up a ton on Thursday today? I don't think it does. I think if you're buying cards tonight, like all the cards that I've invested in, and this can be some ideas for you guys, look at these out-of-pack specials that I've gotten. The Walkers, the Suns, uh, I have a couple Mares, I've got a Tamori, a Lucas Mora, a Van Dyke gold card, some Aubameyang informs. A lot of this stuff probably won't hit its peak price until Friday night. All the stuff that I'm investing in either today before rewards or during rewards or even Friday morning uh, when there's supposedly going to be some panic, right? Leading into the new tots. Um, I'm probably just aiming to sell all of this stuff in the evening time on Friday, regardless of what it is. I don't think that I'm going to be buying cards for Thursday flipping this week and selling them on Thursday because I don't think there's going to be that crazy of a rise except for some, maybe like a like a Shapeshifter Ben Yedder or some of those really upper tier, super rare cards that a lot of people want to get their hands on as soon as possible. This could be a card that you see rise up a little bit just because it's it's really rare, right? 1.6, maybe he goes up 70, 80,000 coins and he's selling around like 1.6 highs or 1.7 tomorrow. Uh, but for most of the market, I feel like it's just going to kind of maybe go up a little bit and chill. Um, other than that, and then we'll see the biggest rise Friday night. So whatever you're buying now, if you don't need coins on Friday to like buy a team during lightning rounds or to invest in fodder or to try to buy a new team of the season player, uh, I would say it's a full send on the out of packs in forms. And then tomorrow, if you want to not take a risk, but you know, maybe buy a couple cards that are in the team of the season so far and make an investment that way. I feel like that's pretty a pretty good move and a pretty possible investment uh, as well. But again, and you if you're looking around the market for stuff that is out of packs, look for stuff that rose a decent amount last week that is even lower this week. So if it rose last week, I would feel very, very confident that it would rise again. So do a little bit of research, right? On Footbin, look through some of those teams, look through some of those team of the week squads if you've got a little bit of time. If you bought stuff or if you're watching this video after rewards, it's still fine. You can still look through those card prices. Some of these cards still could be down as we head into Thursday evening, Friday morning, um, as maybe there's a little bit of panic or just people didn't buy stuff on Thursday, there's going to be opportunities to buy on Friday morning as well on some cards. And I'm pretty pumped about that too. So big market rise, I think, later into this weekend. Not sure how much it will be with today, but it's a big day on foot because we have a guaranteed SBC. Fodder is going to be moving. People are going to be packing a bunch of cool cards. Hopefully, um, that SBC is good value. And hopefully we get a loading screen today too. A loading screen for Premier League team of the season where maybe they kind of, you know, show us a few cards that could be given out. That'd be kind of fun as well. Hopefully our prediction is pretty close to spot on. Um, a lot of you guys gave me some flack for not having Ndidi in there, which yes, I think Ndidi is like, it's going to be close, man. When you make a prediction like that, you know, it's really hard because you have to try to find the balance between yes, who performed really well during the season and like, EA wanting to make money. That's why I threw Bruno Fernandez in there. I think if EA wants to make money, they got to throw a Tots Bruno in there. So we'll see what happens. Well, of course, EA is trying to make some money. So that was my reasoning behind that. But we'll see what happens on Friday tomorrow. But today, good luck with your rewards. If you got elite picks, good luck. Tweet me all your red picks, your elite picks, anything you pull from rewards. I'd love to see that stuff because that's awesome uh, when you guys are packing cool things. And that's what we're going to try to do on my channel as well in the next coming weeks with Team of the Season. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.